Hey y'all, so update on the drama the other night when I had to put, when I had to get that brake chamber done. The I one that I carry with an extra me worked, but it wasn't the right one, so it was just temporary. So in this video, I found out when I went to get the correct one put on that there's a way I could have bypassed it. And we, that's my, my mechanic's name, is gonna show you how to do Mike, it. You yeah. Gotta help the people out, man. Yeah. If y'all break chain will go out on the road, we say this is all you gotta do. Now I know. See, this is a case right here. Uh -huh. So your book should be right here, right? Usually, there's usually yeah, a bolt. Uh -huh. You take that bow out, take it off. Go in there and tie that bow. All of them don't have it. That one don't have one. Let's do it. Take that off. Put it in here. Turn it. Screw it out. Then you pinch these lines. When you're tired, the brake pull. Mm -hmm. Release. Mm -hmm. Understand? Yeah. Clamp the hole and go. Oh, you still got to clamp the hole. Because the air leak, you don't want your truck to be up there. Right, right. You you lay here because you you don't want to break the hole. Oh, okay. Because you got no air go to break the chamber. Oh, okay. But you still got to stop the air. You got to stop the air. So then you just use vice grips or whatever. But use these to clamp down on the airline that's going to that brake. Mm -hmm. And then you bypass the brake. So mm -hmm. no air in there, so you're supposed to be release the brake. No, that's right, we need some breath. Can you make it back home? Back home. Come to the shop? Yeah. And I'll see you. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Appreciate that lesson. There's the bolt. All of them don't have it. That one don't have one. Let's do it. Take that off. Put it in here. One of these are the supply, mm. one is the return. Huh? Make you cool? Yeah. Gotta help the people out, man.